very surreal moment being up here. I'm Matt Dunford, uh, exterior designer at FCA. And today, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Chrysler Portal concept. When I first started thinking about the exterior design for this concept, I was inspired by architectural designs for homes, both traditional and contemporary, and particularly the entrance. Primarily because everything about a design experience starts when you step through that door. This distinct, bold design began literally with Heimler. As automotive designers, we traditionally try our best to hide it, but here the doors are the theme. And it's less about the surface and more about the proportions and graphics, the sweetness of the profile, and the relationship to the interior body. With this portal concept, the defining focal point is the entrance, highlighted by this iconic shape. And I admit it, the team fell in love with how the portal acted sort of as the focal point, how it naturally invites you into the car. And everything about that, about the exterior design is connected by the shape of these doors. And this fulfills our design concept of what we call a third space. Titles will feel at home and inspired because the exterior design wraps that interior volume as closely, as efficiently, and as beautifully as possible, creating a harmonious relationship between the two. This is the first time in my experience that light has been used to this extent as an automotive exterior design element, beyond, let's say, your traditional headlamps or taillamps. And while it looks pretty cool, it's also functional too. The light acts almost as the car's voice, to communicate in ways people can easily understand. The colors are infinitely adjustable across the full spectrum of light, so you can not only customize your look, but use the shade of illumination as a signal. Maybe consider how this portal feature can make your life a little bit better. Let's say you're waiting for an Uber, or your friend is meeting you at the game and the parking lot is full of field games, right? With a simple text, you can let them know, hey, watch for the green portal. The portal concept will default to a set color whenever it's in autonomous driving mode, so that's communicating with other cars around it. In, in the fear, spirit of full disclosure, this door design also speaks to my own personal pet peeve as a 95th percentile male, which is technical lingo for pretty tall. Uh, I hate bumping and rubbing my shoulders and feeling a bit like Quasimodo when I lose some calling shotgun, which happens a lot in my case. Uh, the challenge, though, is getting around the B pillar. The B pillar is that piece of structural steel usually found between the doors, that thing you have to wiggle around to get into the back seat. So to solve this issue, we shifted the structure of the B-pillar to the door, and it slides out of the way with the doors when you don't need it. You can easily hop inside for better ingress and egress. Oh, and by the way, the opening here is five feet wide, so loading from curbside is easy breezy. With the doors closed, it's easy to notice the high water line here, set well above the fenders, to visually make the car look light but stable, and to anchor the dominant portal shapes. The stance is athletic in nature, planted with very little overhang, ideal proportions for us. Ashley will tell you a little bit more about how we make this possible, but it's the overall balance that's key here. The car looks streamlined, lighter and leaner. The maximized 21 inch wheels are pushed out flush with the simply draped fender frames, which creates a visual lightness and agility that is unusual for this segment of vehicle, and I think that's pretty cool. You can see how we have this structural floating panel on the side surrounded by glass, which is kind of like an island, and that complements its surroundings and protects the occupants. And as, aesthetically, it ties the car together from front to rear, complementing all of the simple, clean earth profiles you see. The overall effect of these island-like panels is to make it look as if the car is wrapping glass. The exterior is also inspired by minimalist shapes and forms you see in everyday tech objects like your phones or laptops and devices. This interplay of transparent and solid panels helps the car feel more light and bright inside and out. In fact, even the roof is a transparent canopy. And for structural integrity, we use what we call a carbon fiber experts, which is visible through the glass to maximize rigidity and save weight. And it actually mimics initial engineering load studies we experimented with in the computer. And for the interior, it delivers specific pools of sunlight to each of the passengers, giving them their own personal skylight. The floating panel motif is repeated in the front here, but with more of a face to give the car a sense of direction. Here we're going for a look that is both efficient and approachable. The floating panel works like a grill, 
for kind of a setting for what we call an evolved Chrysler wing dash. Ed Lamps use next generation thin lens LED technology with an adaptive driving beam which improves visibility by adjusting the driving conditions. Now as we move to the back of the car, you can see we've integrated a folding panel theme here, integrating into the hatch with a C-shaped lighting feature that cradles it. There's also a storage bin built into the lift gate, activated by proximity sensing, of course. That can hold things like muddy shoes or a wet swimsuit, stuff you don't really want inside your car. And when activated, the drawer opens swiftly for the user and stows away flush as if it were never there. Dreaming and aspiring to capture beauty and function together really allowed us, the team, to bring our vision for the future of millennial mobility to life. Unfortunately, my time is up, but here's Ashley to tell you a little bit more about how we achieved this vision with a distinctive, integrative solution. Thank you.